Hello, half a day. Today we're going to be covering the Spiderfoot uh, open source collection tool. Close this out here. Alright, so this is the Spiderfoot.net website. We're in the documentation portion. Uh, this is a great resource if you want to utilize this tool or just experiment with it. Uh, you can see that they have all the way from what's required in your system, installation, uh, starting, uh, API keys, you can utilize those in this program. It tells you exactly how to get it, uh, where to go. And all you need to run this program, besides installing it, is uh, a domain name, IP address, host, su host name, subdomain, subnet, and go from there. So, all right, so let's get the program up and running. Uh, this is a it, it does run on the Python 2.7 framework. Uh, so let's change to the directory. All right, we're there. Let's get the uh, app up. All right, now you can see it's listening on uh, 127.0.0.1. Uh, port 5001. So uh, we're going to bring up a browser here, bring up Firefox, make it big. Alright, 127.0.0.1, port 5001. And there we are. I'm going to go ahead and can my last scan. Alright, so we got settings here on the left side. Uh, global, one thing I think is important about the global is um, how long you want this running for. Uh, I usually abort at a cup, after a couple hours. Let's just, just make it one hour. And uh, ensure you save your changes as you go along. Uh, all these things if you want if you have uh, I'm not going to bring this up I have my API key installed but if you want to install API keys uh, you can do that from here in the settings section um, what scans you would have uh, have previously done or currently uh, in the process would show up there uh, and new scans right here so in the uh, scan name we'll just put All right, I'm going to try, uh, I'll, I'll do something I've done before. I know it'll come back with a lot of good data. We'll call this All-Star. Yeah, look, look, it's already there. Uh, and then All-Star, let's go with that website. So this is a uh, car dealership in Louisiana. And I'm going to go by module and remove the... Uh, TCP port or part and just start my scan. So we should start seeing items populate here, uh, returns. So you got so you got the total and then unique. Um, with this, you'll see back names. Just for an example, you'll get back names. You can get back 500, uh, but they're actually car names. When it comes to unique, you'll typically see uh, you know something out of the ordinary and uh, like a person's name. And then the status and how many errors are come back. Maybe you don't have the API, API keys installed, but it ran that uh, that function. So that'll come back as an error. Uh, so we'll let this run for a couple minutes and then uh, analyze information we're getting back. All right, at this point, it's been running for about 20 minutes. Uh, you can see how much data is populated i got about 223 returns, 179 unique, uh, 16 errors. Uh, so this is when you can start going into the data and then figuring out what's useful or not. Uh, let's go into, just to say, uh, human names. Right? So you got that section right there. I can, I can click from this point or I can go into uh, Browse and give me a list. So it's human names, alphabetic order. Um, now, as I mentioned, uh, well, I, I ran this for a couple hours the other day and a lot of car names, which are not human names, but eventually I got a couple hits on, on names that were mentioned on sites. Um, 
on this site for community service event so it does it will eventually start getting that data back to you uh, cookie data so when you start getting a lot of hits in here you have the option to either see the full data view or the unique data uh, that you might be interested in um, linked URLs I think that's down here internal and a lot of data we go into right here unique data view Browse data again, and there was something I was looking at earlier. Might be the uh, external right here. Link to URLs, back to unique. You can see maps, Google Maps, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, so that that could be useful. Uh, and different ways to view the data. So you get the full data view again. Lots lots of information there unique, more specific to what you might be looking for. And then a visualization, uh, bubble bubble data, bubble source, and bubble dis or discovery path. Uh, this is kind of neat. Uh, you can see how you got to where you're, uh, what, what you're looking at from the original domain you had put in. Uh, haven't really used the bubble data too much. It's, it's bubbles. But the, uh, the path Discovery path is kind of kind of neat, and so once once you're done, again, if you're if you're running this for a, a long time, if you got to run it for 72 hours, and maybe just wanna you just wanna do something else with your computer for a while, or you or you got the data you need, you can go into scans, and uh, you do have the ability to abort right here, and then it'll abort, and when it does. Uh, You can see that it's processing all this data. It'll eventually close this out. And then when you are done, you have the ability to export the data to a, a CSV file. Let's go. Right here, export data to CSV. Um, so that's about it. Again, there's some uh, resources available to discovery, or excuse me, spiderfoot.net the website is uh, very helpful. And a lot of tutorials out there, uh, video and, and just websites that have uh, a lot of information if you want to dig in a little deeper. All right, thanks for your time.